Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're here to show you a very cheap and easy way of shielding your utility meter. And many people are now shielding their utility meters because there's radio frequency transmitting devices installed into them. And radio frequency is very well known to make some people sick today. And the people that it makes sick generally realize that it's the utility meter on the house that's doing it. So you've got a utility meter, you've decided to cover it up. This is about as cheap as you can possibly do it. So we're gonna start off with some aluminum foil. This is standard kitchen foil. And we've folded it over on itself several times. So there's multiple layers. And we're gonna wrap this around the meter with the shiny side facing inwards. So it's very easy. All we have to do is wrap it all the way down, make sure it's all the way down at the base. So what we've done is we've actually directed the radio frequency out through the front instead of allowing it coming out from the sides. So we got rid of the side radiation emission and we now want to get rid of the front radiation emission. And we're just going to use the standard piece of aluminum window screening material. And you just want to pop that on there. And then to hold it on, you just want to use a standard hose clamp. You can buy these in any hardware shop. I believe this is a five to seven inch hose clamp. And you just want to put it on and push down. And you can add get a few little wrinkles in it as you push down. And then once it's all the way down, you just want to tighten up the hose clamp. And you're going to have to do a few turns on the screw to get it to tighten up the whole way. And once it's tight, you've effectively screened your meter. So, this is the cheapest way that I know of, of screening a utility meter. And after you've done this, you will want to test it with a radio frequency meter to confirm correct shielding. And you shouldn't be doing shielding without a radio frequency meter. And if you want to find out more on this subject, you can find it in the book, Electrical Forensics. And the last thing you should do is Install a sign next to your meter saying that there's no permission granted by you to the utility to have one of these devices on your property. And that increases the legal liability to the utility company. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.